Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anya. Today's video is going to be my January 2018 boxy charm. Super excited about it. If you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into the video. So this is the box this month. I'm not doing this try on style because I wanted to film this tutorial and have uh, three tutorials up by Friday. So three tutorials, one palette will be up on Friday. So this look, if you're interested in it at all, will be in a video on Friday. So this is going to be just a regular unboxing. I also didn't want to do it try on style because I saw spoilers for this and I know for sure I'm not keeping three of the items. So I didn't really want to open it, test it out just to have it sit there in my collection when I know that I didn't really want the products or I wasn't really going to use the products in here. So I am actually going to be giving away some of the products. This is this month. It comes with a card this month that says Rock 2018. And then you have a list of all the products on the back and there's some guitars and stuff. And this card just gives you all the prices and things. They also gave this little card that has the ingredient list for one of the products. So that's... That's always helpful. The first item in the box is this. This is the Pores No More Luminizer Primer from Dr. Brandt. It says it's for all skin types. It's illuminating primer base. So according to the card, it says the Luminizer Primer delivers a natural radiant glow while blurring pores and imperfections for a beautifully illuminated flawless complexion. This retails for $38 and you do get one fluid ounce of product in this. I am interested to try this. I heard that for dry skin, you do have to moisturize well before you apply this which i do anyways this is one of the items that i did want to try out and keep comes in this really nice blue bottle and it's just a screw on cap sort of a beige colored cream seems hydrating i don't see that it is very illuminating just from what i put down but it might work well with foundations it's not very tacky either but I'm interested to try this under makeup. I think that'd be a really interesting product, especially for me, someone who suffers with dry skin. Having something that is not matte and very illuminating is really good. So the next item that I'm also keeping is this It Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. I do want to try this out. This is in the shade Universal Taupe. And I like this pencil already because you can twist out product and pull it back in, which I like. So if you twist it too much, you can bring it back down. I do get a spoolie on the end. The color actually looks pretty good for me I like how fine the strokes are it looks like a decent pencil it looks like the color might be a really good color match for me I don't see how this is universal for everybody I know that you're supposed to apply more pressure to make it darker but to call it universal I don't think that this will work for like people with black brows but if you have brown to light brown or blonde hair, I think that this might work for you. This is $24 and it says pencil is infused with brow enhancing biotin lecithin. Not sure I said that right. Salt palmetto, nettle, green tea, antioxidants, grape seed, and vitamins A, B5, C, and E. Plus, it's universal transforming shade adjusts to all hair colors based on pressure. Typically, I don't use pomades or powders. I really like brow pencils. So just the shape of it reminds me of my Lala Fox brow pencil that I really like. So I'm interested to try this out. So already with these two products, I've already paid for my box in the month. The next three products are products that I am not keeping. They're either going to go in this giveaway or in a future giveaway. The first one is this Gerlactic Matte Lip and this is in the shade Posh. It's actually a really pretty sort of pumpkin-y color. I like the color of this a lot. My problem is is that it's a matte liquid lipstick. I think I'm at a point where I have enough lip products that I just don't need anymore, especially any matte products. I have very dry skin and very dry lips, so anything mattifying kind of scares me. One of the original liquid lipstick formulas that is true to its words. It's lightweight, long wearing, non cracking, and won't settle. For better application, do not apply a lip balm or lip primer before application. Although I heard the formula of this is really nice, I'd rather just give it away to one of you guys. The next product is this Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. I'm going to take the little sticker off so I can show the product. This is what it looks like. It comes with a mirror and you do have a blush, a highlight, and a bronze shade. They're all sort of shimmery shades in here. I have enough blush to go through, enough bronzers to go through, and enough highlight to go through. And I really don't want to add anything to my collection and I feel like I'll be wasting this product if I add it to my collection. This retails for $34. This is an on-the-go highlight, bronzer, and blush palette with three skin perfecting powders to create an effortless and sun-kissed glow. I don't really want to keep this so this will be going in a giveaway as well 
Okay, so for this video, the item that I'm going to give away is the next item that I'm going to be talking about. This is the Glam Metals Eyeshadow Palette from Crown Brushes. This retails for $25, and it comes with a mirror that is shaped like a guitar that has wings. I feel like I have enough eyeshadows that sort of mimic this palette that I don't really want to waste the eyeshadows in here, and I think one of you will really like it. The eyeshadows look really nice. You do get some cooler tone metallic shades and also some warmer tones it looks like a really nice palette and from the swatches and everything i've seen it looks like it performs well but i feel like i have a lot of eyeshadows in my collection at this point that i need to get through and something about this palette just doesn't speak to me i think it might be the blues that are kind of throwing me off in the palette i think the palette is really pretty i just didn't want to waste it so this palette will be the item that i give away in this video if you are interested in the giveaway i will have the details linked down below for you guys it'll be through gleam as always so it's sort of like a random thing gleam picks the winner and i will go ahead and send out the product to you i hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it wasn't my normal try on style but if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next one bye